Okay, I am rolling. And this is That Gets My Goat, right? It is. Hey, big sister. What's your least favorite show? That Gets My Goat. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of That Gets My Goat. I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rish Outfield. And you know what gets my goat? What? Having to do these episodes. (laughs) (laughs) I, I can believe that. All right, so today we're doing a follow-up episode. Uh, last time we talked about this February sweeps thing that we did. Did we call it February sweeps in the episode yet? I don't think we did, did we? We did. Oh, we did? One of us came up with that name in the middle of the That Gets My Goat last month. All right, so they know what February sweeps is because they heard it before. If not, well, maybe you saw the 29 posts about it on my blog and the 29 posts about it on Rich's blog. Or the three <laughs> posts about it on the Doonstief blog. Right. I guess it was there, more than two. <laughs> there will still be a fourth post. <laughs> okay. But it hasn't been written yet. But yeah, in case people don't give a crap about us, why are you listening? Why would you listen to this? I mean, seriously. You open the box, there's no grapes, there's no nuts. What is on with that? In case you didn't <laughs> listen to the last episode, Big and I made a goal for the month of February to write every single day, document our writing, keep track of how many words we wrote. Uh, Big's goal was 30,000 words or or a thousand words a day, right? Yeah, a thousand words a day. Was it either or? or how? Which was it? It was both. It had to be both. It was a thousand words a day, but I also needed to get to 30,000 words overall, which since there's only 29 days, I had to go a little bit farther. <laughs> Not a whole lot, because I don't know what... Uh, 1,000 divided by 29 is, but, you know, I only needed one extra thousand to make it to 30,000. But that was my, those were my goals, those two. But yeah, I don't imagine that people are capable of just writing an even thousand words in a day. Um, (laughs) Right. It seems like there was one day where you got to like 1,004 or something. You're just like, whoa, that's, you know, really close. Yeah. And I was like, Done. I don't care. It's the middle of a sentence. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. But anyhow, that was our (laughs) our last episode where we talked about this goal and this thing that we were going to do. And we invited people to do it as well if they wanted to. Uh, It's similar, I guess, to NaNoWriMo, which happens every November. And there are people that... The point of that is to write a whole novel in the month of November? Or is it more just, I'm going to write every day on my novel? Uh, I think the idea is to write a novel, although you don't actually have to write a novel. The, their thing is you have to write 50,000 words. That's what they say constitutes a novel. So if you get 50,000 words, you win NaNoWriMo. Ah, okay. But I don't know if you necessarily always come away with a finished novel, but that's the idea. The idea is you have a novel, and I guess in October you're supposed to be doing the pre-planning stuff so that you can write. And they have it divided up through, you know, how much you have to write each day, and it's something like 1,600 words a day that you have to write to manage to get your 50,000 words in in a month. And you've never been able to participate in that because of November sweeps, correct? Yeah, I there have been times where I've considered it, but yeah, I as of yet have not. I probably could, though. Yeah, I was going to say if you your if your last name was Outfield, and you got fired, then in November you'd be free to uh, to do that. But but yes, <laughs> you February sweeps is still a thing in news, right? Yes, it is. I mean, it's February, November, and uh, May are when all the sweeps months are. Right, and yet, spoilers, you managed a thousand words every single day in February, so there's no reason you wouldn't be able to do the same in November, or am I wrong? Yeah, I think I could do it in November. Uh, Like I was saying, I probably could do NaNoWriMo, because... At this new station that I'm at in Houston, we do things differently. And so the 
we've got a whole division of people in charge of dealing with the sweep stuff. <laughs> and so it doesn't fall in my lap like it used to before at my last station. And so I probably would have time to be able to, to do that. I could probably get away with that. Well, we'll never know. I at least wouldn't be so worn out by the end of the day when I get home that I would just be like, no, I'm going to sleep. Good night. And just pass out. So, you know, maybe this upcoming November I'll try that. We'll have to see. Shut it! Okay, well, with no further ado, especially since you need to get to bed, let's let people know how the month of February went. First off, how do you feel you did in February 2020? Uh, I feel like I did pretty darn good, to tell you the truth. Um, I've been working up toward, you know, writing. Uh, I made a goal to do 300,000 words in a year. So I figured 10 months with 30,000 words a month, that means 1,000 words a day during those months. That would give me my 300,000 words. Easily. Yeah, that would give me two extra months that were just gravy, you know, whatever I get done in those months are, are you know, extra. And so I tried to, uh, with the first two months of this year, because I started this at the end of October uh, after my birthday. So those first two months w- would be November and December. And so I just tried to get myself into the habit of writing. And yeah, I did so-so. The idea was right every day this month. My, in November, that was my plan. I didn't manage. <laughs> I wrote a lot, uh, but I didn't even come close to writing every day. There was many days that I missed because I would just forget. It wasn't my habit. I didn't remember to do it. And then uh, when November came to an end, I was like, okay, I need to step this up. I need to write every day, dang it. And on top of that now, I'm going to make myself do 500 words per day. And again, I didn't manage. I didn't write every day. There was things that happened in December that made things difficult. But there were plenty of days when I just forgot again. But on the days that I did write, I did at least get 500 words. So there was that. And I wound up writing more words in December than I did in November. And then when January came, it was like, okay, I'm bumping it up to a thousand now. I got to get myself because this is the first month of the actual 10 months. I've got to get 30,000 this month. So I bumped it up to a thousand every day and I still didn't quite get every day. I almost did. I missed the very first day of the month because that was January 1st, which was a day that I was off of work. And I have a tendency to forget because I write on my lunch break at work. And so on the weekends or on holidays, sometimes I forget to write. And that's what I did. Uh, So I shot myself in the foot right out the gate. It's hard to win the race when you shoot yourself in the foot to start. And I did miss one other day. So I missed two days that whole month. And I did get 30,000 words that month, so that was exciting. But my big, the thing that I wanted to get the most this month was writing every single day. And that was the one thing that I did actually manage to do. So I feel really good about myself for that, uh, especially. And yeah, I did also get 30,000 words. Um, And I did also manage to write more words this month than I did in January. Uh, and there, I guess I wrote for the same number of days because there's 31 days in January, but I missed two of them. So I wrote 29 days in January and 29 days in February, but I still managed to get more words in February than I did in January. So that's a plus, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about how it all went. Uh, things are coming along well and I've, I've got, uh, some pretty good progress. I'm up over 90,000 words toward my goal. So that's pretty cool too. Wow, that is. That's like 30% of the way there. Got to get myself to 300,000. So it kind of feels like I've, I've got a long way, but I do have a long ways to go. I've got nine more months to go. So wait, eight more months to go. You know. Okay, so give, give me your total word count for February. Oh, right. I was supposed to get to that, wasn't I? <laughs> no, I... I <laughs> my, 
My total word count for February turned out to be three thirty three thousand six hundred and three words. That's twenty nine thousand for the one thousand every day plus an extra four thousand six hundred and three, which is what you get with the slop. You know, you always got the 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 carryover, and uh, you know, there's no way to write exactly a thousand. Although I came close. I guess it was, let's see, I'm looking on here, 1,007, that's what I got one day. <laughs> Barely over, but but yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Now, I didn't compare, uh, when it really comes down to it, to the master. Uh, why don't you talk about how you feel that it... Well, let's not talk about Brandon Sanderson in this episode. <laughs> I'm not talking about Brandon Sanderson. He's a god. We're talking about this other guy who every day topped my word count, except for like two or three times. How do you feel that it went? Well, I would be out of character if I were proud of myself <laughs> or said something like, this is the most productive I've ever been in my entire 30 years of being a writer. Yeah, I also wrote every single day. And uh, for the most part, it was easy it was toward the end of the month i started to lose a little bit of steam it and and then yeah the valentine's day week when i also had my writers conference and then i also had this gargantuan audio project that i foolishly decided to do yes i i felt my age there but you had been saying cuz for the last 2 or 3 months i've been calling you and saying, hey, don't forget to write. And you had been saying recently, you don't have to do that anymore. Block. Um, <laughs> you're saying, I'm in the habit. I don't need you to call me ever, ever again. again. <laughs> and so uh, I think I, I sort of felt that way too. There were a couple of times when it was just like, okay, it's past two in the morning and I didn't get all my, I didn't get a thousand words. Should I just be content with the 200 words that I got? No, I can write just a little bit more, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I also blogged every single day. I mean, so did you. But there were times when my blogs were very, very big. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't even have time to read your blogs because I, I had to spend so much time writing. So I was just <laughs> like, man, I wish this guy would shorten his blogs up. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I... I wanted it to be entertaining in case somebody wanted to go to it or in case I want to go to it one day. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that's really cool about it. You you would put uh, a lot of stuff. It wasn't just, oh, I wrote this and I, I felt like this while I was writing. You, you went through a lot of the stuff that happened to you during the day and, and so forth. I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, so you feel like you were flagging near the end? I had a couple of days where I felt really sorry for myself and I thought, why continue? I think a week ago today was the, my hardest day. And I was just like, dude, why did I say I would be anything? Why, why can't I? <laughs> it's just like, why, yeah, why continue to try? I'm never going to accomplish anything. And then I sort of fought against that and said, bull crap, dude. They, the bad guys win if you give in to that mindset. And so I went to the library and I wrote harder than I had the rest of the month. And that was my, what, 32, 3300 word day. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, you, you say that you felt like you were flagging there at the end, but it seemed like your word count kept getting higher and higher as the month went by. Well, I, you were near a thousand, and then after a while, you like the lowest you got was like 1,600, and then, you know, other days you were getting 24 and, you know, even into the 3,000s, and I was just like, man, this guy can't keep up. Well, I... I we don't tend to go this personal on that gets my goat, but I'm prone to depression a lot of times. And sometimes people will say, you know, you need to exercise or you need to do something that creates endorphins or, you know, you listen to music or go do something. So I would try to really, really do that. Like the worse I felt, the harder I would work. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It was just like, I don't want to exercise today and it's like oh 
Well, I'm glad you said that because the number of push-ups you were going to do, <laughs> that just got doubled, maggot. <laughs> and You're like the drill sergeant. Let me take you down to Namby Pamby land, you jack wagon. <laughs> yeah, hey, it was that. And so, yeah, there were a couple of days when I was unhappy and feeling really worthless. And I told myself, no, you're going to write until you don't feel worthless, until you look and go, oh, my gosh, I finished another story or I just wrote a scene that's really good. And it, it worked. I said it was the most productive month I've ever had. I think I wrote seven stories in the month of February. And there have been years when I didn't do seven stories. Yeah, there have been years when I didn't do one, sadly. <laughs> it, uh, and that felt good. Yeah, I, I, and you were doing it too. And that's helpful. You know, it's always good to have a moving buddy. And uh, <laughs> furthermore, though, a couple of people... Like our buddy Rob, like Gino, like Marshall, they sent words of encouragement and said that they were also writing. Tom Tancredi was writing. Yeah. And I don't know if we had anything to do with that, but I choose to believe that we did. Don't correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong. That is definitely really cool. Uh, one of the best parts about it is when it becomes a community thing. I wouldn't be surprised if that's how NaNoWriMo started. You know, some guy just thought, I'm going to write a novel in November. And then it spread to his friend. And then they started talking about it and it spread to more people. Now it's the National Novel Writing Month. But yeah, you've been, we've been, I mean, I, I have participated some of the years. But this is a thing that you at least have been doing pretty much every year for like four or five years, right? February doing a lot of writing thing. Yeah, except for the two years ago in 2018 was the month that I was just like, I'm not going to ever write again. And so I don't think I started writing every day until March that year. Murdered by Pirates is good. It is. <laughs> I think you may have gotten me to write a little bit that year, if I remember right, because you started later. You did it in March. You did March Madness. or No, that was last year when you did March Madness, right? <laughs> yes. But uh, I like it. I'm excited about how well it went, and uh, I feel really good. Now, what was your final word count? Do you know? Or do I need to read it off your blog to you? Oh, I... I don't see what good number. <laughs> Age ain't nothing but a number. Uh-huh. Um, Tell me more. So so February for me was really a month of putting myself out there and doing things out in the open and, and you know, just striving to better myself. And one of the things that you did that pissed me off <laughs> was that you started posting my blog on Facebook. And did you do it on Twitter as well? I did, yeah. I would tweet and post each uh, each of our blogs each day. And furthermore, you started like taking things that I posted on Instagram <laughs> <laughs> and these videos that I made of myself singing, and you started posting those. And you even went as far as to post fake Sean Connery's <laughs> words of encouragement to teenage girls videos that I did on Facebook. <laughs> And I really didn't want you to do any of that. But once you had done it, it was just like, well, it's out of my hands. And uh, later in the month, I was pleased when I'd see that you had done it. So there's another nice thing there. Yeah, that was, I mean, I've meant to do that for a long time. And there's been a time or two where I've like, oh, yes, I need to do that. And I'll do a post. And then, of course, I forget about it for another six months unfortunately. But uh, you have a tendency to not want to be outed or whatever. You don't want to be out in the open. You don't want... You do all these cool things. You know, like when I posted that Sean Connery thing, you were like, why did you do that? Oh my... No, that was not supposed to be a thing. And I was I like... I was really upset with you, man. I was like, dude, that thing was so cool. Like, I loved it. I couldn't believe that it was just hiding away and, and you have like three people that are following that account and that's it. 
that you know was so good you need to have it out it's so cool the way you did that with the mask and you're in the shadow and it almost looks like it could be the real sean connery <laughs> talking it's so cool and you're just like oh, well guess if you like it you don't have to delete it uh, but yeah i i called you didn't i to have you take it down <laughs> yeah you were i think you were pretty mad at me but you know all these things that you do uh they're cool they're worth sharing but i know that you're not going to you know you you just posting it in the first place is as far as you're going to take it you're not going to go out there and promote it you talk a lot about you know the various authors that you see at the writers conferences you know these guys are their bi- oh, their own biggest fan you know, they love their book more than anyone else who's ever read it loves it. And they're always just like, you should read my book. You need it in your life. It's great. Uh, you know, and they'll say that kind of stuff every single time they even mention the title of their book. They're like, yes, when I was writing uh, Sunny and Gray, which, by the way, is a great book that you should buy. You need it in your life. It's great. Uh, and then they'll just go on with their statement, you know, and you're just like, these guys, I mean, maybe that's how I'm supposed to be. But I know I'm not going to be like that. And so for a long time, I've thought that I, I need to help you with that. You know, when when it gets taken out of your hands and you get promoted by somebody else, then you can't second guess yourself and just be like, oh, I'm, I'm too embarrassed to hit send on this. So I'm not going to, you know, you don't get the choice and it gets out there and then people see it. And I've found a really interesting like i was just taking stuff that you have available on amazon for people to buy and i was just going okay i'm just gonna promote something that he's got out there and so i picked a random book that you'd written and i posted on facebook and twitter saying this is available if you want it rich outfield wrote this it's pretty good you should check it out and immediately people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this was this has even existed. Oh, I wish that I'd known. I'm going to go buy it right now. And each time that I posted one of those things, somebody said in the comments that they went and bought it because, you know, they like your stuff and they didn't know it was there and they wanted it. So it seems to me like it was worth it. You know, at the very least, you're getting sales out of it. <laughs> so... But, you know, the more I think that stuff is out there, the better things can be for you. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it is good to have that in the same way as it's good to have somebody say, you were only going to do 50 push-ups, but now you're going <laughs> to do more. Yeah, people did say that they bought it, and that's good. I mean, why did I put it out there if not to sell copies? Right. Like all of those videos of me singing, they're private videos. <laughs> they're not <laughs> made public that just anybody can find. And so nobody ever would have uh, found those if you hadn't put them out there. And uh, with the, the Sean Connery things, I just thought that because of the novelty of a celebrity impersonator doing motivational videos that somebody might click on it rather than just me. You know what I'm saying? Mm Mm-hmm. Because it's got one more step of, like, unusualness to it. But, yeah, I don't know that anybody ever would have found those had you not promoted them, so... Well, I mean, you might get some, but uh, the more people find something, the more their algorithms or whatever will put it in front of other people and give them the chance to click on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It seems like giving it a boost that some people will see it and not know who you are and just be like, oh, Sean, you know, there'll be a a Sean Connery fan or something. will see that and be like, oh, what's this? And click on it. Uh, Someone who wasn't a Rish Outfield fan before. It'd be like that time when we were at the New Media Expo. And you went up and did karaoke as fake Sean Connery, and they announced (laughs) that over the microphone. They said, all right, coming up next is fake Sean Connery. And everybody's like, what the hell? And then you did your thing, and everybody loved it, and they were all cheering like crazy and stuff. And 
until you get it in front of their faces, they don't know that they need it in their life. <laughs> but that was pretty cool. It's And it's one of those things, you know, we don't put out podcasts as often. Well, I don't put out podcasts as often <laughs> as I should. Uh, you know, the Dune Steve has slackened substantially in its release schedule over the years. But there's other things out there, you know, people are they just... I think a lot of people might think that we've just gone away and they only hear from us once a month or two or three. But we have That Gets My Goat. You have Rish Outcast. There are blog posts. There are videos. There, you know, all of these other things. We have a media empire available to them. <laughs> if they know that it exists. But if they don't know that it exists, then they can't go and get it. You know, so that, I guess, was my... Uh, plan behind that but if nothing else people were able to see you know how many words we wrote each day because we did a blog post and i made sure that they all got posted yeah and the stats on my blog went way way up once you started doing that of people that read my posts and 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 i guess that's that's great knowing that three people read it instead of one (laughs) that's we're three times as likely to laugh or what i i don't know yeah like you were saying with the stuff that you published, you know, what did you publish it for if not for someone to read it? So that was a plus. And I, 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 I'm going to keep doing that. I, I hope you're okay with that. Well, it's out of my hands now. There's not anything I can do about it. I'm... That's right. You'll have to fly out here and punch me in the face if you want me to stop. <laughs> To be able to afford to fly out here, I'm going to have to post a bunch more things about stuff that you're selling so that you can sell more so that you can fly out here. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, I really would like us to be able to get together and go on some kind of trip or a hike or get together and, you know, hang out and podcast and, I don't know, eat nacho fries. What are those things that Taco Bell has that have all the fun commercials? Oh, yeah, the movie uh, parody trailer commercials. I think they are nacho fries. Anyway, that I, I, I don't know what else we need to talk about. Well, here's my question for you. What is your plan going forward from here? We've made it through February. You don't have to write every day if you don't want to. Are you going to still do that anyways? Well, I have so far. But I got to say, the very first day of March... I felt like there was this huge weight lifted from my shoulders where it's just like, I don't have to write today if I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I went most of the day without doing it. And then at the end of the the night, I mean, it was after one in the morning, I was just like, well, I should write something. I mean, come on. You know, it's, it's like you were dieting a whole month. And then the very first day that you're not on your diet, you go to like an all-you-can-eat buffet and gorge yourself (laughs) until your pants split. It just, oh, sorry, a person does this. I didn't necessarily mean Big Anklevich does this. It's just like, well, just because it's no longer the month where you said you would do it doesn't mean you have to fly off the wagon and just forget all the stuff that you had learned. And so... So far in March, yes, I have written every day. I had this po- this goal of publishing every week in March. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to have cover art, and I just, oh, that's hard. Uh-oh. Maybe I can give you a hand with that to make up for posting your Sean Connery videos. <laughs> I've got uh, had an idea of something that fake Sean could do for April Fool's Day which is the 1st of April, and so we'll see if I'm ambitious enough to do that. Is it as ambitious as your Valentine's Day thing? Hell no. I'll never do anything like that again. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So your plan then for this month, your goal for this month is to publish something once a week, every week? Yes. So, uh, you know, a month from now, I should have published four things. Okay. Okay. And these will be ebook stories? Yeah. Okay. But I had also set this goal of publishing the second Lara and the Witch book. Uh-huh. And it's a it's a book, so it's going to take more than just, you know, a day or two to get it all done. Like I spent three hours yesterday getting it all formatted 
mm -hmm. you know, perfectly with like chapter numbers and all that garbage so that I could put it out on Amazon, which probably leads you to say, well, why didn't you publish it then? But I need to go through it aloud before I publish it because, you know, there are definitely going to be typos and right. moments when I call Laura Laura or something like that and don't realize it, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh huh. Everybody has to do that, whether they like me or not. You have to read your stuff aloud. Yeah. I'll put that on my headstone. I'm such a believer in that. Yeah, it is definitely key. I'll make sure that it gets onto your headstone next week. <laughs> Everybody that comes by my headstone goes, read it aloud. What, why do they want us to read his headstone aloud? I don't <laughs> And it's then like they read it and they're like, oh, there's a typo on there. Oh, no. Yes, there you go. No That's wonder. Good. That's right. A-L-L-O-W-E-D. And uh, <laughs> they find out that part of it is it's a Candyman kind of thing. You have to read my headstone aloud. Three different people have to do it in one night. If they don't read your headstone aloud, then you come and haunt them until they do. Oh, okay. Well, so there's a twist. It's, it's the opposite of the normal. Yeah. I guess to send Beetlejuice back, you just had to say his name three times, right? I don't remember him, sorry. That's, that's how you summoned him, but you could send him back to the netherworld just by saying his name three times again. Oh, okay. So like, there's that moment where he's like, it's raping time. <laughs> Winona Ryder was just like, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Woo, there's a load off. <laughs> So yes, that, that's another thing I really need to do is this second book is get that out there. And so those are my priorities in March, but it would be nice to keep writing. I, I just, I know myself, I won't be able to do it every single day and uh, it'll be a good run for however long I can keep it up. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I, you're in the habit of at least thinking about writing every day and wanting to write every day. And maybe you choose not to you're like eh, today's the day that i'm going to work on lara and the witch or i'm going to work on the other story that i'm publishing or i'm going to record myself and edit some, some audio or whatever it is you know as long as that's there because yeah it does have to be a, a bit of a balance you know it, it doesn't do any good to write a uh, hundred stories but never share any of them so you got to take the time to publish them eventually. And uh, for me, this year, uh, my plan is the whole year is the year where I learn to write, you know, improve my craft writing. I write all the time and make myself into hopefully a better writer and get that habit of writing all the time so that, you know, I'm ready to go. And then next year, I'll probably set a bunch of goals of publishing stuff. And I may still publish some stuff this year. There are some other things that I want to do this year that I'll have to find time to stuff them in. But uh, for me, writing is the thing this year. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to write a thousand words every day in March. And my goal this time around is just to get more words in March than I did in February. Which I think as long as I write a thousand words a day should be relatively easy. Because you have two extra days? Yeah, there's two extra days. So I'll, I'll get 2,000 more words probably than I did in February. Yeah, it'll start getting more difficult. I was thinking it would be cool if I managed to get more words each month than I did, you know, the month before. But <laughs> yeah, it'll just start getting more difficult as the months go on because I'll, I'll just have to get higher totals each day if I want to be able to pass that. So we'll see if I can keep that up. But definitely that's my goal for this month is just to make it higher than last month. We'll see how that goes. I'm sure it'll, it'll be pretty good, pretty easy. Wow. Pretty easy. We'll see. <laughs> hey, I'd like to invite anybody who's listening to let us know in the comments how you did if you participated in this, how proud you are of Big Anklevich for, you know, making his goal for once. Or just say hey in the comments. I like comments a lot. Yeah, be nice to hear some comments to get some feedback. And yeah, 
Tell us if you enjoyed reading uh, our blog posts, talking about how each day went, if you're glad that I posted them on you. All that kind of stuff. That would be great. All right, I think we've uh, basically said our piece. Is there anything else you can think of that you wanted to say before we go? No, let's uh, keep this up and we'll, we'll talk again. That's it. Congratulations, man, on making your goal. Yeah, thanks a lot. Same to you, sir. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll come back next uh, month and talk about how this month went and whether we managed to get those goals. Yeah, if people are entertained by that, then there's nothing, there's nothing preventing us. We could just do this every month. I mean, it's always good to put out more that gets my goats anyway, as you said. So people are reminded we exist. We are alive. (laughs) Right. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Have a good month. Have a productive month. I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rich Outfield. And read it aloud. (laughs) That's right. A-L-L-O-W-E-D. What the heck? That costs $600. And there's a typo? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sure. I remember podcasts. (laughs) There was this one called That Gets My Goat, I heard from time to time. That show was produced under this thing called a Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 3.0 License. A bit of a mouthful for an old man like me, but it basically meant that you could download the show, listen to it, share it with others free of charge, but you couldn't claim it as your own. (laughs) Ah, podcasts. We didn't know, back in the day, of course, that it all would end. Not then. It still seems like yesterday. (sighs) But it ain't. I pressed the button. You're listening to the Dune Steve Audio Fiction Magazine.